Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be covering how to add new pages to your website. Again, we cover this off in module seven, how important this is to, give, uh, to make your site more reputable um, by adding and broadening your niche with additional content pages. So without any further ado, let me uh, jump into the site builder and we can look how that happens. Here we are again um, in our Lula Pushchair website. And as you can see so far, we just have the two pages. Well, actually, we have three. We don't show the contact us, uh, the privacy page. So we have our main home page, our contact us page, and obviously our privacy page. So the next step is to create a new page. Obviously, we have the page layer open, and we see this option, create new page. So simply clicking the create new page option brings up this nice pop-up here. And we see we have two basic options. We have, we can create a blank page, which we can choose to rename um, and have a uh, choose to do whatever we want with it, or we have what we call an MFA or made for AdSense or made for Amazon article page. So that's literally a blank page, but with some um, pre predefined widgets such as articles and monetization. But what we're going to do today is we're going to use the page ideas tab, and within page ideas we can search for related keywords. So in this case. I'm going to put push chat, I almost got the keyword right that time. I'm going to put in push chat as our keyword. And here we see a lot of suggestions which we would have seen initially when we did our research. Obviously, we see Lula push chat right at the top, so obviously that was a good one. But we also have lots of other keywords related to that which we can use to broaden our Lula push chairs website. So, for example, push chairs accessories. Um, and what we're looking for is an average search of more than 150. So again, push chair is a very broad keyword, so it's probably not going to work very well for us. However, some of these Quinizap push chair, for example, more than 150, so 880 searches there would be good to, uh, but it's still quite a broad keyword. So clicking the plus sign here, here we can see in the background as we load the page, that the page is the page tab we now have for the Quinizap push chair. Well, we've noticed we're still on the uh, find and add additional pages, so we can choose to add more than one um, one page at a time whilst we're on here. So maybe I'm also going to go for those push chair accessories. There we go, 390. So there we go, we've added two pages to our site. So once you've finished choosing, you know, adding your pages, simply close down the, the pop up there, and here we see we have the two pages. We can simply click on the, the page tabs at the top there to navigate to these different pages. So here we are in the Quinny Zap push chair page. Now let's just uh, add some images on here just so we can see how that works because we haven't covered that off in our videos as of yet. So again, we're going to be using the image widget which we're going to drag onto the page. And I'm going to right click and choose edit and choose the URL. I have in preparation for this, um, I've copied a couple of images to my desktop. So let me find those. Should be that one. Now here we see um, an important aspect. We have the, the widget on the page there, the image widget in this case. Um, and I've just picked an image um, from my desktop. Now the chances of the, the widget and the image being the same size are probably remote. So what we have the choice here is, do we keep the image dimensions? So the image um, that we've just uploaded to our site, do we want to keep the image dimensions or have we specifically scaled the widget to be a certain size? And therefore, do we want the image to rescale to the widget size? So I, in this case, I'm going to keep the image dimension sizes. So I'm just gonna click keep image dimension sizes. Um, and from an SEO perspective, we also want to give the image an alt tag. So I'm going to choose the alt tag Lula. No, not just Lula. I'm going to choose push chairs. And then I'm going to click update. And there we see we've got the, the image on there. Now I'm going to add another image to the page here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a bit smaller. I'm gonna, uh, can, we can right click and edit or double click also brings us to the attributes panel as well. Now I'm going to choose a different image. And 
And here again, we have the option to rescale or to keep the image dimensions. I'm going to rescale now because I've specifically chosen the widget to be a certain size. And again, I'm going to give myself or give the image an alt tag, which will help with SEO. And there we see that we've added the image, but now it's a smaller size because it's rescaled to the widget rather than to the, um, to the image size. And there we can see we can still move around our images. And finally, just before I finish this video, let me just cover one more aspect. Also, when we've right clicked before on a widget, we've noticed as well as edit, we've also looked at delete, there's also a clone. So what does clone do? Clone simply creates a copy of it. So if I wanted more than one image or more than one whatever widget I was dealing with, then I can clone it. Now we also noticed another option there, bring to front. So let me show you. So basically the, the order of things being displayed is as we've dragged them onto the page. So say for example, I wanted all these images to be in a nice round border, which would be my shape widget. I drag that to there and I'm going to edit that and give it a, a nice, let's say, green color. I'm going to give it a nice round border. So there, there we have that there, but obviously I want my images in front of that. So what I'm going to do is right click these and bring them to front. So now I have my images in a nice green box and I've brought the images to front so they're effectively on top of my border. So I'm going to simply save those pages, save those changes. Once I've saved those changes, obviously we've added more, more pages here. So what a good thing to do would be to add a menu now so I can navigate to these additional pages. Now, what I don't want to do is add a menu to this specific page. I want the menu to appear on every page. So what I'm gonna do is choose my theme layer. And again, I'm going to put my menu into uh, a nice border. So I'm gonna put a shape on there. I'm going to have this white. I've got some border corners. And then simply drag the menu widget onto the page. I'm going to drag that to a size that's uh, more like uh, it's going to be useful. I'm going to, so I'm going to right click and edit the menu. And here we see the various pages that I have on my site that I've created. I'm not going to link contact us within the, within the menu. And all we see here is we have these little drag options. So we can actually change the order of the menu as, as items that appear on the menu. And finally, we have the option of whether we want the menu horizontal or vertical. In this case, it's gonna be horizontal. And I choose update. And there we see our menu. Now we can see, we see the menu doesn't quite fit in there, but that's no problem. I can just drag and extend both of those. And there we have our menu. Now maybe you wouldn't, you wouldn't have it exactly there, you would spend a little bit more time styling it. So we could choose to move that to maybe here. Maybe we're gonna change the size of this a little bit so it fits in there nicely. And there, there we have our menu. So we can simply, again, click it in this theme layer, save our theme. And we can choose to view our site. And here we see our Lola Push Chair site with our menu that we've just put in. And we can look at our Quinny Zap Push Chair page, which we added with our images and with our border. So that's, uh, that's covering adding pages, adding menus, and adding more images to your site.